Is it one? No, it's two. Sad by sad, I don't have no clue. I'm talking the hardest, shedding out gigs. Cappy is the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense, hence you can't just sit on the fence. Contrary to foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. Aim top corner, roll top scorers, we spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins are the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings in a 1v1 trying to see who wins. And UFC! Manchester United 1, Brighton 2, and uh, welcome to the 2022 23 season, ladies and gents. I mean, you know, if there's a little reintroduction, myself, CM, my twin bro over there, Cappy, who was watching the game on uh, Sunday, watching the game, and I mean, it's almost like a continuation at this point. You you almost expect it, you know, it's a new era. Eric Ten Hag at the helm. And what a way to begin your reign at home against Brighton and home out Hove Audium, sorry. And the performance was absolutely flat. We lacked control, we lacked maturity on the ball defensively the same issues players getting caught out of position a lack of communication just all over the pitch really uh disjointed is the best way to describe it when you go over and look at the midfield um scott mctominay fred bruno fernandez just struggled to control the game in the middle of the park and that's something that we saw for the whole of last season you know <sighs> I mean, having Scott McTominay and, and, and Fred as, as your two CDMs or whatever it was, it is a, a disaster class waiting to happen. And my word, we're, we're going to speak about the transfer situation in a second because, you know, Cappy has a lot to say about that. But the fact that we've started a new season under a new manager, supposedly a new era, supposedly new board members who are coming in with different ideas and have learned from the past mistakes how have we allowed this to happen you know both goals we conceded sheesh you know it, brighton deserves to win that game all ends up if we went on to equalize after scoring that scrappy goal I would have felt extremely sorry for Brighton and Hove Albion because they deserve to win that game, no doubt about it. Hands down, hands down. Pascal Gross scored twice and then McAllister scored her own goal to put us back into the game, but man, huh. Oh, there are, um, and listen, I don't think it's the point that I'm getting across where I'm surprised about the way we performed or I'm surprised about the result because I'm not you of course you can dig into the manner of the way you know the performances the individual performances and collective performances but in the end of the day look how long we've been doing that for we did that for how many months of our season and that resulted in me just being disconnected you know what I mean it's like wi-fi I wanted to be disconnected from the Wi-Fi, so I didn't have to constantly see Manchester United stories popping up when I'm trying to enjoy my summer, when I'm trying to enjoy my break, all of this stuff that's just piling on top of you, on top of you, on top of you. I just wanted to get away from it. And that was the worst feeling I've ever had after a football season. And, and mind you, Manchester United haven't been a good team for a long time. But this, it just, there was something about last season that just put me over the edge. It put me over the edge. So, you know, I'm sick and tired as well of asking where do we go from here? because we we should be in a place where there is direction but because of obvious reasons because of you know the ownership because of the board members continuing to to carry on the legacy of those who put us in the position mind you 
some of those guys were most of those guys were within the club when those decisions were being made so they are as much a part of the failure of how many years we've been failing now since 2013 even before that possibly as much as those who have left the club so what is new what is new at manchester united um yeah you know what, 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 the one thing that really set the tone for this match when i was watching it and i don't really hear a lot of people mention it but when i look at the way we pass the ball it lacks intensity i got introduced to the game of futsal quite a few years ago now quite a few years ago now and one of the things that you know they put a strong emphasis on in that game is passing the ball with a purpose passing the ball with a, a certain level of pace because what that does is it prevents the opposition from triggering presses it prevent and, and it allows you to also drag players out of position from the opposition and create chances from them but if you pass the ball with a lack of intensity a lack of pace a lack of confidence it's going to be way too easy to defend but also you're going to put yourself and your teammates under pressure constantly because hold on a minute if the ball's moving slowly across the pitch then guess what one, two, three, trigger the press, let's go. And then all of a sudden, you've got to rush to pass the ball. You start to panic. Your heart starts racing. Your, 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 your spine tingling. Hairs raising on your body because all of a sudden, you're afraid because you can see people charging at you. Organized pressing, coming in unison, making sure that you do not find another teammate. Futsal may be a different game to football, but there are a lot of things that you can link from futsal to the game of football and that is one of them we cannot keep the ball to save our lives and that is not a new problem that is a problem that keeps on reoccurring now you can look at the coaches manager and you can look at the personnel we have on the pitch the kind of characters we have on the pitch none of them are strong mentally and you can see that by the way they play. We have a lot of weak-minded players when you speak about their mentality. Players that panic when you need cool characters. You look at the top teams, cool characters that can pass out of the most intense of presses. We don't have that. Much less, they can't even pass the ball properly when there are no, when nobody's pressing them. They fear fear the moment in so many ways in so many categories how do you expect manchester united to change eric ten hag isn't going to change these players because we've seen them fail back to back to back to back time and time and time again when will the true message be relayed because somebody is going to get failed here if something doesn't change ASAP and I hope I hope for the fans I hope for the for the people that are actually trying to turn things around at Manchester United that it isn't the wrong decision being made again you know what I don't know how much people went into the season with the kind of energy and vim that I did <laughs> You know, maybe I was overly excited. Maybe I was just excited to, to be back on the watch along after so many weeks and months of being out. I was ready to unleash. I was, I was joyful, ready, had the energy. By half time, that energy was zapped out of me. To be honest, by the, by the time the one of the, the two goals went in, all the energy was gone. You see, with me, I always try to start a new leaf. I know things didn't go ideally. In fact, they went horrifically last season. Last season, I was distraught. I was broken. 
said of myself, I had to look at myself in the mirror. Think about how I was going to approach this season. And I decided I was going to give it another try. I was looking for something different. I'd seen the pre-season matches. But once again, I was fooled. Once again, we went back to what we've always been. Nothing. I don't think people really, really and truly understand how bad Manchester United have become from top to bottom. I don't think people really understand where we really are. Don't let the name of this club mask what this club is, what we have fallen into, yeah? We are not an established Champions League side. To be honest, last season, we didn't even deserve the Europa League. We had to rely on West, was it West, was it West Ham slipping up for us to even get into the Europa League? Without them, we would have been sitting in the Conference League, the UEFA Conference League. And if that didn't exist, we wouldn't have been in Europe at all. So yeah, safe to say, like what CM said, it's a continuation. Everything, all of the anticipation to see how we would truly play, what kind of changes, what kind of seeds will be planted out of the window. And you know, I've got to, got to put this focus once again on these board members, these guys that have come into the club after a clear out and the ownership, of course. You see these board members, I saw people reacting and, and just calling them saints, giving them nicknames for what they've achieved nothing, absolutely nothing. They got rid of a few players, to be honest, they were leaving anyway on a free transfer. Brought in a few players, not enough. We needed more. We need a midfielder, an attacking player, striker, you can argue we need a winger, right back. Multiple midfielders. And that hasn't happened. We heard a guy in the pub talk about the money's there, talking about the targets, the list. We will get who the manager needs and wants. Where is that now? With only a few weeks left of the transfer window. Where is that now? Yeah, because right now, when there should have been urgency, I'm starting to smell a little bit of panic. And you know what panic is? Panic is the mistake of yesterday. The mistakes that have been made year after year after year in the past. That is what I smell. The smell of failure. And to that, I will ask you, all of the people watching, what has really changed? Hmm? Because if you were a part of this club for the many years that everybody involved has failed, what makes you think that you are going to be the start of change? Let's talk about United The story too divided All this mess just left you riding Return of the bro Cappy was just too excited After 45 minutes That's a way like night oh no. I tried to see it from a new perspective The gap against the lap is something new But it was all the same collective I tried to tell you bro They change it coming like a leopard Them fast trick fibers That's the long we're losing second Like we did 
Just eat that the facts, sell the facts Rotten to the core, check the score The yard is all infested with rats and that's a fact yes. No baron to leave it with experience to match the unserious members They came with some plat, no agendas Nobody on the pitch deserves a clap If anything they need a skinny bang Wap, 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 wap Wap, 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 wap what about the board and known as pure broken promises? We all need to notice this. I saw them sit down for minutes. They should be on the line trying to secure the sign by the perfect time. But they are what they are. We can't trust this. Divide and conquer is the rule. They used to lock this. We all need to keep the same energy. We don't want this. Nah. Beefing on the space ain't gonna save your club. It's toxic. Tell them. Let's talk about United The story too divided All this mess just left you hiding Return of the bro Cap he was just too excited After 45 minutes that to way like that oh no. I tried to see it from a new perspective The gaffer gave the rap for something new But it was all the same collective I tried to tell you bro They changed it coming like a leopard Them fast twitch fibers left alone We're losing seconds Like we did